What's up everybody? Rock and Robbie here. Time for another Robbie Rants. Today I want to talk about why you should give Supergirl a chance. You watched my video earlier in the year when I first started watching Supergirl. I went on to Robbie Rands about how the Supergirl TV series makes Superman out to be a complete asshole. And to me, I believe that was true for the beginning of the season. And I said, I will wait and find out what happens when the show decides what it wants to do. Well, the show has almost pretty much decided what it wants to do. And let me tell you this, I am on board with it. I adore Supergirl. I actually really like the show. It is not the best show, okay? But it is a very solid, great comic book superhero TV show with a female lead, which is rare, right? So you might want to say, Robbie, at Pop Culture Philosophers, you guys all the time say, don't watch stuff you don't like. Why do I got to wait for Supergirl to get good? Why? Because nowadays, we wait for shows to get good. Okay, Flash aside, the greatest superhero TV show of all time, Flash, okay? All that aside, look at Arrow. We had to wait for Arrow to get good, and then it got bad again. But we had to wait for it to get good. Look at Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We had to wait for it to get good. All you fans of Supernatural, of which, yes, I will admit, I am kind of a fan of Supernatural, you had to wait three years for that show to get good, okay? Fans of Buffy. I love all of Buffy, to be honest with you, but fans of Buffy, no. You gotta wait two years for it really to get good. Nowadays, we wait for shows because we want a world. We want something to be built, okay? So it takes time to build something. It takes time to... It's a very difficult thing to do an episode or two and encapsulate everything that you hope to accomplish in a TV show while making something that's easily accessible and digestible for a current modern audience, right? So, we wait for shows to get better. Why can we not wait for Supergirl? So I waited, and I watched it, and it got really, really good. It's takes on the villains, okay? Reactron was awesome, okay? Um, we got Bizarro coming up, we got Silver Banshee coming up, and you know that the Phantom Zone villains are kind of badass. They're kind of cool. They're really cool. And now we have the Martian Manhunter. The Martian Manhunter is so dope in this show. I hated his character in the beginning. Hank Henshaw was like, this is so stupid. He's obviously the cyborg Superman. Or is he something else? He was something else. He's the Martian Manhunter and he looks great. We're not going to see him in that form very often, but we will again very, very soon, I guarantee it. But what I want to tell you is that we wait for all of these other shows to get good, and a lot of people just gave up on Supergirl very, very quickly. And it may not be on the level of The Flash, but it is way better than Arrow, and maybe just slightly under Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. right now, as far as superhero types, comic book, you know, TV shows that we have right now. Um, give Supergirl a chance. It's actually really good. Um, the characters are gelling with me. I love their take on James Olsen. I hated Jimmy Olsen in the comics, even being a Superman fan growing up. I hated Jimmy Olsen because it just seems stupid. It's like Archie's running around with Superman. This is not the James Olsen, because it's James Olsen, right? But this is not the same character. This is a better character. This is how they should do him in the comic books. Uh, her friend Wen is pretty cool, but the best part of this show, to be honest, and let's just say that Melissa Benoist, is actually really, really good as Kara and Supergirl, and she's really growing on me. But, oh my goodness, Callista Flockhart's Cat Grant is the reason to watch this show. Plus, the jock from Can't Hardly Wait is Max Lord, very Lex luthor -y. But Cat Grant, that's the reason to watch this show. This show's going to keep getting better. We got Super Banshee and Bizarro, as I said. This is going to be good. I've ranted too long. Give Supergirl a chance. If you gave Arrow a chance... If you gave Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. a chance, if you gave Supernatural or Buffy a chance, if you gave any of these shows a chance to build, give Supergirl a chance. 